This prophetic encouragement is from Christy Johnston and was published on March 5, 2024. This will be three months of upgrade. I believe the coming months of March, April, and May are going to mark a season of divine and supernatural upgrades. This theme has been grabbing my attention almost everywhere in recent days, and as I asked the Holy Spirit to reveal more, I heard him say there is first an upgrade available for divine strategies, visions, and navigation, which will then be followed by upgrades in financial provisions to make room for the vision. Follow True North I saw a vision of a person standing at a crossroad, but it was not your typical crossroad with just one or two choices in front of them. But there were multiple pathways stretching out before them like a vein, and the person was standing at the cross point, confused and somewhat disorientated. I heard them saying, I know I am meant to go forward, but which way God? What direction do I go in? And for a while, they just stood and waited until finally, they got down on their knees and looked up and began to pray. Right at the very moment, they looked heavenward. I watched as a gold compass was released from heaven, and on the compass was engraved, Follow True North. This person grabbed hold of the compass and immediately followed the instructions and began maneuvering it to find the direction of north. As the arrow settled and landed on True North, it revealed an illuminated pathway before them and they were able to confidently walk ahead. The pathway that the person in this vision followed turned into a mighty rushing river lined with mines filled with gold. At the Crossroads I believe the Holy Spirit is revealing that many of His children are feeling the tension of standing at a crossroads right now, a crossroad with multiple pathways and choices, and it seems overwhelming and daunting. Many have felt lost or even abandoned, and I believe many others are standing at this place where they are about to take an enormous risk and leap of faith and are needing divine guidance as to which pathway to walk upon. If any of these resonate with you, I believe that as you keep your eyes fixed on Him in a place of surrender, He will release the compass of your true north. For He is your true north. The compass is representative of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. And as you remain in a position of hearing His voice, He will reveal the navigation that will guide you into the divine upgrade. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you, instructing and guiding you along the pathway for your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. So don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn when I take you where you've not been before. Don't make me tug you and pull you along. Just come with me. I had to laugh at the humor of God in the past few days as he has continued to place little or big signs in front of my own path to confirm this word as I have been going about my day to day. The first was a literal sign as I was entering a shopping center and on a giant billboard out front was a picture of a car advertisement with the title, Compass. Find your true north. The second was seeing yet another giant billboard on the freeway entitled, Upgrade Now. And thirdly, as I was cleaning a room this afternoon, I watched through the windows as the exact car in the Compass advertisement drove slowly past my house with the number plate, Now. I literally had to pick my jaw up off the floor. I want to highlight the prophetic symbolism here. A car represents a ministry, a ministry gift, the church, a business, or a family. It is also prophetic of the supernatural ability for God to take you further than you could walk in your own strength. So when I saw the Compass car drive past my house with the number plate, an OW, I immediately knew it was the Holy Spirit once more confirming that He is releasing His compass to ministries, ministry gifts, churches, business, individuals, and families for the path set before them and as they followed His leading, it would open up rivers of revelation and revitalization, surrounded by the resources needed to fulfill the vision God has given. Keys for Navigating New Roads of course I had to do a little more research on this car and found the prophetic stamp of God speaking all over their website. Who knew God would speak through a car advertisement, right? For the record, 
please see this through the eyes and ears of prophecy and not a car advertisement. I wanted to highlight a couple of titles that jumped out to me and explain why I believe they are keys for this upgrade season we are walking into. Arrive Inspired You are not designed to wear out and wear thin on the journey. As you stay true to your true north and remain in connection with God, He will revitalize you so that you will have the ability to fulfill the vision at the destination and not be burnt out and exhausted by the time you get there. Nurture your true nature Your true nature is a child of God, created to be in constant communication and connection with your Heavenly Father. As you nurture your relationship with Him, you protect not only yourself, but the vision. Secure Advantages for Wise Travelers The wise travelers are the ones who keep the compass, the Word of God with them, in their hearts and ears at all times. It keeps them secure and on the right path. Make room in your world. Don't get lost in the vision. Don't let the vision itself become your number one priority and focus. Ensure you keep God as your number one focus. As you make room for Him in everything, the upgrades will flow. I strongly believe this is a promise for many right now. For those who have lost their way or struggling to know what decision to make for the road ahead, the Holy Spirit is saying, as you align and position your heart to hear His voice in the day-to-day, -day, He will illuminate the path ahead. There is divine upgrade for those who are leaning into the navigation system of heaven right now. Are you listening? Here are some verses for this word. Isaiah 54 verses 1 to 3 from the Amplified Bible. The fertility of Zion. Shout for joy, O barren one, she who has not given birth. Break forth into joyful shouting and rejoice, she who has not gone into labor with child. For the spiritual sons of the desolate one will be more numerous than the sons of the married woman, says the Lord. Enlarge the sight of your tent to make room for more children. Stretch out the curtains of your dwellings, do not spare them. Lengthen your tent ropes and make your peg stakes firm in the ground. For you will spread out to the right and to the left. And your descendants will take possession of nations and will inhabit deserted cities. Philippians 3 verses 14 to 15 from the Amplified Bible. I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature pursuing spiritual perfection should have this attitude. And if in any respect you have a different attitude, that too God will make clear to you. Matthew 6 verses 6 to 7 from the Amplified Bible. But when you pray, go into your most private room, close the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Psalm 121 from the Amplified Bible The Lord the Keeper of Israel A Song of Ascents I will lift up my eyes to the hills of Jerusalem, from where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber briefly nor sleep soundly. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in everything that you do from this time forth and forever. Here's a pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, you are my almighty, all powerful, all loving Father. You are my Lord, my Father, and my keeper. I lift up my eyes to the one who loves me and helps me. You, the one who made the heavens and earth, is my source of help. 
You will not allow my foot to slip. You who keep me will not slumber. Father, you are my keeper. And you are the shade on my right hand. The sun will not strike me by day, nor the moon by night. You protect me from all evil. You will keep my life. And, I ascend to the mountain of the divine upgrade. Barnas, leave now in Jesus' name. And I rejoice as I conceive and give birth to my God-given dreams. I enlarge my tent to make room for the divine upgrade as your favor and blessings fall and spread out to the right and the left. I will take possession of what you have prepared for me, Father. I move forward and know you guard my going out and coming in, everything I do from this time forth and forever. All for your glory. And let the earth be filled with the knowledge of your glory as the waters cover the sea. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Gathering with Lou Engel and Nate and Christy Johnston Come join us on Good Friday, March 29th, for the gathering of God's fiery remnant. It will be a night of the presence, prophecy, prayer, and communion. See you there. Click the links available above and in the description box below to register. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Christy Johnston, please visit nate